Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Access. In this module, we're going to look at creating reports. First of all, through the wizard, and then doing a manual report. So a quick reminder, here is the table that we're going to use, which has got some calculations, or some salary fields, some number fields, and some date fields that we're going to look at. I'm going to create a report, basically grouping by department, and then showing the salary. I'm not really interested in the date join for this example. So first one, create, use the report wizard, select the table, there's only one table in this database. Take all the fields across that you require, so I don't want the join, so everything else is okay. I'll do. Next, select the field that you want to group by, so in this case department, then next. Now because this table has a currency field, I get these options and I want to sum, average and show percentage of the total. Click OK, go next, set in the orientation to landscape, go next and type in RPT in front of the name. Finish and then the report is generated. Some hashes there, so I need to quickly go into design to sort that out. Basically these detail fields need extending, and so do these three, because they're truncated, and so does this one. Now, if I look at this one, that fixes everything. So you can see there, it's grouped by department, and then you've got the average and the total and the percentage of the total. So I'll go to a department that's got more than one person in it. So there's the total, there's the average, there's the percentage of the total. And at the very bottom, you have the grand total of £250,000. So that's basically how the wizard crits this report. And I think there's quite a lot of work needed to fix this to make it look nice. So I rather, I'd rather do them myself. So I'm just going to delete that and not save it and get rid of that and not save it and start from scratch. Create for uh, report, report design, go to the property sheet, attach it to the table or query that you like this one and then you access the fields from there. So first off, I would like to group by department. So I'm clicking on group and sort, and then add in a group. So this will be department. So I get the header for department. And I don't have a footer at the moment, but if I click on this option more, I've got the option there to without a footer or with a footer. So I'll go with a footer section. So now that should have a department footer there. So I can get rid of this now. So by department, so I need to put the department field into this bit. I'm going to delete the label and move that into the top corner. And format it bold and red. And then keep having a look at your report to see what it looks like. So I've got this box on, I'll get rid of these boxes later on, but you can get rid of them if you don't like them. I can move this up a little bit. Now the field, so I've got title and name. So title, don't want the label, move that up tight. And then name, same thing, get rid of the label and move that up fairly tight as well. Might need to expand expand that slightly. So in a, in, a, in a future session, I'll show you how to do concatenation and bring these all into one field. So just make those nice and neat. Have a look, Mr. Brown Finance. And you can see there's a big gap here all the way down to the next record, which I'll just fix now. If I bring this bar up, not too far because, well, let's put it up to there. Have a look. Now it becomes a lot tighter and you can see all the records. If we go back into design, now I want to do some calculations. 
Um, before I do that, I need to do the salary field. So let's just bring the salary field in. Salary. Don't want that. Move salary up to there. Bring that. Have a look. So I've got the figures for each person. Now I want to do some calculations. So in the department footer, I'm going to select an AB button. And in there, I'm going to type equals sum, open the normal bracket and then open the square bracket. Type the field name in, in this case salary, and then close the normal bracket. Have a look. So let's work that out. That's added those two up. So I need to format this to currency. Back into design. Click on that. Property sheet. Format. And select currency. Currency. And in the label, I do want to keep the label. I'll just call it total. And move this in line with the salary field above. Make it a similar size. Have a look. Now I want the average field. So I'm going back into design to do average. Same process, A, B button. Draw a rectangle. Type equals A, V, G, open bracket, square bracket, salary. Square bracket, close, close normal bracket. Might as well format it to currency while we're there. Have a look. So the average is 33,000 between these two, that's okay. Change the label to average. And then move these up a bit so they're a bit tighter. Now, I also want the percentage of the total, but at the moment I haven't got a total footer, so I've right-clicked Report Header and Footer. There you go. And I'm just going to copy the same formula into the Report Footer. Because when it's in the Report Footer, it looks at all the sections, all the departments. And if I have a look at the report, that should have summarised all the salary fields, which it, which it has done. So I'll just change that label to report totals. Total. Now, just going to get rid of this footer. I want to know what the percentage of each department sales is, or wages is, as a percentage of this. So I need to name some of these boxes. So I'm going to name this box. I'm just going to click on all on the properties. It's called text four at the moment. I'm just going to call this box total. And then this box, I'm going to call it grand. So if I click back on that one, that's called total. That's called grand. So now, I can do another A, B button in there and do a formula which is going to say equals total divided by grand. Click away, have a look. So it's worked, but just needs formatting to a percent. So I'll go back into design, change the format to percentage. Have a look. Just worked out the percent. Now I need to change the label to percent. And then move that up a little bit. Have a look at my report. And there I've created a report by department showing the department totals and the average and the total of that department as a percentage of the overall company totals at the bottom. And that's how you do calculations yourself in a report. Thank you for your time. See you in the next one.